Warm in Saskatchewan is the hotbed of hockey activity when it comes to the SJHL. It's the Western All-Star Showcase, and every Tuesday at around this time, we bring on Benny Walchuk, who is the voice of the Melville Millionaires, the uh, Yorkton Terriers, and the Swan Valley Stampeders in the Manitoba Junior Hockey League. Benny, uh, an All-Star game in early November. Break it down <laughs> for us, not so much in the snow. What is happening today and tomorrow in, in Warman? It's a kind of a pre-selection camp for the World Junior A Challenge for Canada West. Of course, Canada West it participates in the World Junior A Challenge against the other parts of, of the world uh, in Camrose at the beginning of December. And this is kind of a pre-selection camp, top 20 prospects from, from this of camp, which features 20 of the best prospects under 19 from Manitoba Junior Hockey League and the SJHL will compete at this camp in two kind of uh, all-star games tonight and tomorrow uh, in Warman, which is a great facility there up in by Saskatoon. And then the top 20 prospects Prospects will be invited to the camp uh, in Mormon at the or in Calgary at the end of uh, November. Then they'll participate if they're successful in uh, competing at the uh, World Junior A Challenge, which is a prestigious event. You've had Philip Forsberg, a member of the, the Nashville Predators, compete at the event, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Brock Besser was at this event. Kyle Connor of the Winnipeg Jets, they all compete at the World Junior A Challenge. So, a pretty prestigious event and a, a kind of a great opportunity for these local players to take part in it. Now, Benny, that Warman facility you mentioned it, it is first class, right? It very easily could be home to a junior A team if the community had wanted to go that direction. But in saying that, for a number of years, the SJHL held a showcase in Warman where they invited recruiters from across North America essentially to come and see the athletes participate. Is this event, event on now in place of that in addition to, is it, how does it fall in? It's a, it's in place of it, yeah. They've they had a great event. It was great for me to get to l l watch all the teams. I could do a couple of games with my Malvo and Yorkton teams, but I think the financials and the and the cost of it just cost a little bit too much for the for the league to have it each and every year. And and, and they got some word from some of the scouting staff from the NHL Central Scouting or NCAA that it was kind of maybe they come and watch one or two players, not everybody players, and a couple guys commit and they don't want to come anymore. So there's a lot of logistics behind it, but mostly it's financial and bringing all the teams to warm in and they got to play. They, they lose a home game as well. Uh, they might save a road trip, however, one game, but they're basically financially, it just wasn't maybe feasible anymore. And this is kind of an idea that the MJHL and SJHL came together with to kind of uh, showcase some of those players that are probably would be on the radar of those NCAA scouts or, or even Western Hockey League scouts or, or, or the NHL Central Scouting. <laughs> Now, if if you can only take twenty aside from the SJ and the MJ, obviously there are some some guys that got left off. Who from the SJ, if if all goes well, I'm not going to ask you. I uh, know I'm not going to ask you that question. I'm not going to put. I'm not. We're not going to box you in. Who do you expect to do well for the SJ at this camp? Who do you want to see shine because they've earned their spot and rightfully they should be there. Yeah, like locally here. First off, before we get league wide, uh, Jaden Iogan is uh, is a guy that had a great season last year. He's uh, he's probably one of the fastest guys in the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League. He plays with the Millionaires, and he's he's got eight goals already this season. And I think he just can provide some good speed to this Canada West lineup against the, the against the European teams or teams from uh, from around the world that can skate uh, on that big ice surface coming into to Camrose. And uh, a guy like Dustin Renis locally as well, Yorkton. He's had a great uh, last couple of months of the season. I think he's going to be very good. But I think the, the biggest part of this uh, SJHL team in particular is going to be their goal. Tending. They got Angelo Zoll, who is probably one of the best netminders in the SJHL, leading the the Red Hot Weyburn Red Wing team to to a, a point streak of 12 straight games. And then you got Callum Craig, who who's just in our backyard here in Yorkton. And uh, Callum at one point had a 1.11 goals against average through six games. So I think the backbone of this team, I'm looking forward to see what goaltending if these maybe both of them get picked. I know there's it's between the MJHL, uh, SJHL and the Alberta Junior Hockey League to make this roster. So I'd like to see one of those guys make this team. And I think they will either Angelo Zola or Callum Craig. So I think, and I, I think if they do make it, I think one of those guys could, could take the reins for Canada West. So that's kind of a aspect I'm looking for. And I think the back end's pretty good. Jackson Hercheck. I know we talked to him in past years. He's already committed to Colorado college uh, in for NCAA division one. He plays for the Kindersley Clippers. So a lot of good talents. It's uh it's also a mixture. Do you want to take a little, bit more younger guys 06s or you're going to take an older team as as 05s for the Canada West there is I'm not sure if it is this year but there was a limit to how many 19 year olds you can take uh in the event so I'm not sure if that limit exists right now and if it is you have to decide you want to take what 19 year olds you want to take and then the rest of them will be filled with the 17 and 16 and the 18 year olds 
Benny, I'm not going to state anything that you don't know, but there's a bit of a rivalry between the SJHL and the MJHL. So while this is a great evaluation tool, it's also an opportunity to see kind of where everybody fits in. Back in the day, there used to be the Anavet Cup Series where the SJHL champion played the Manitoba Junior Hockey League champion. I know this is a long-winded question, but you are in the unique op- or have the unique opportunity to cover both leagues. How do the two stack up against one another when you watch them. Yeah, exactly. And in junior third, they're going to have a chance to face each other again at the SJHL MJHL showcase in Winnipeg at the end of January, which is always a great event there in Winnipeg uh, as well. But uh, it's uh, you get the question. Sometimes it changes each and every year with the with the amount of players. I think the the SJHL uh, first off when I first started the MJHL was a lot more physical, a lot more a little chippier uh, in the smaller barns there in the in the MJHL. But I think the SJHL is getting a lot more chippier as well. I think the rivalries are coming back in those respective Estevan Weyburns, the Mal. Yorktons and uh, the, the Malfords Nippowins uh, type rivalries. So I think the the SJHL is right now probably a little bit better of a league uh, a, as a whole than the Manitoba Junior Hockey League. But in saying that, I think the MJHL has had some great talent. You you look at the Vegas Golden Knights a couple of years ago. Zach Whitecloud was a guy that didn't play AAA hockey until to his last year of U18 hockey. Then he made the Vernon Oil Capitals, played three years, went to Bemidji, and then four or five years later, he's in Stanley Cup champion. So they do have some great talent. But I think overall, right now, the SJHL is a little bit more skilled and maybe a little bit more uh, deeper of a league right now and maybe it's because they're older mjhl always goes a little bit of a younger route uh, with a lot more 18 17 year olds from the from the winnipeg area that take the step up to, to junior hockey so right now i think the sjhl is superior but we'll see what happens here when they when they face off not only this week but also in january as well all right it's the saskatchewan junior hockey league report for Southie mainline chrysler King of Trucks, Benny Walchuk. Uh, That Callum Craig with a 1.11 goals against average, if I'm his mom or his dad, that's NIL money type goals against average. (laughs) So any scout in the crowd, I would be working them in the media room to be like, listen, for this amount of money, my son will be coming to play for you. You could just uh, shoot me a Venmo or interact that money. Um, (laughs) This is kind of interesting. Tonight, MJ, SJ, 7.30, warm and all good. Maybe we go get a bite to eat afterwards. But then tomorrow they play again at 11.30 in the morning, Benny. Who decided this schedule? Who's playing hockey before noon? Old fat guys that don't play well play hockey before noon because that's the only ice time that they can get sometimes. All right, And they don't even yeah. wear equipment, most of them. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit, just a little bit quick turnover to try to get the games in, get the guys back to their respected junior clubs. And all the MJHL clubs have a little bit farther to travel, and they, a lot of them will play coming up on Friday. So probably just a little quick turnaround okay. and get the scouts in the barn. But yeah, yeah, I will see. They're young legs, not like us. I'm sure they'll be able to handle it pretty good. <laughs> well, all this talk about oh, traveling. Uh, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say last week we kind of got on the topic of. Uh, the young guys and what they listen to, the old guys, and I had mentioned Conway Twitty coming up on the uh, Spotify <laughs> playlist today. Um, uh, just a second, Dave. Go. It. It. it, it I just lost it. I just. Lost oh it. no. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're talking a lot about driving. We always want to know where it's uh, worth the drive every time. We know that out to Southie, but we're going to get your game or the pick of the week, if you will. But uh, we are talking a lot about uh, roadies and heading out in the road. So Manitoba or Saskatchewan, if you're not calling a game at home, Yorkton or Melville, where do you want to go? Favorite barn? Ooh, the call a game right now. I like going to Flin Flon. That's a, that's a historic barn. I like to call a game there. Malford has a good calling points. And uh, actually, have you ever been out to Verdon? It's maybe not the best place to call a game, but the, the Tundra Oil and Gas place there in Verdon is a, is a great barn. Uh, I think in the future, they're going to be hosting a national championship. Portage has a very nice facility as well. So a lot of good facilities. And I, I like going up to the the Pa and the Swan Rivers and the and the, the Nipahs. A little bit of character, a little bit of chillier when you're calling a game. So I don't like to be too comfortable when you're calling a game. I want the long johns on, some some heated socks and and some under uh, do carriage a little bit to call a game. I know, I know, I'm a younger guy, Maz. I'm not you guys that need all the heat and everything in a barn, but I like to have okay. a little bit of cooling, have the hot chocolates and everything going on. So, all right, so we'll wrap on this. Then Colson can take us to break. The song, and this is an all timer. This would be a GX94 request. Solid gold. Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers, all the gold in California. All right, we're going to take a break. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was Benny an apology. Didn't give us his drive yet, though. We got to make the drive. Yeah. Oh, I so gotta we got to make the drive. the drive. Sorry. 
Let's go to let's go to Weyburn this weekend on Saturday. Uh, Estevan Bruins and Weyburn Red Wings Highway oh. 39 matchup. Ooh. Weyburn's Abram's been one of the best teams. I know you're near neck of the ridge, Dave, but I think it's going to be at Crescent Point Place and Weyburn's going to be packed with the with the rivalry. It doesn't matter where these guys are in the standings, just like any rivalry in the SJHL. So I'm going to go Estevan at Weyburn, 7 o'clock on Saturday night. And I'm not sure where the, where the after party is after Dave. You might know the surroundings a little bit better, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Saturday night in Weyburn. <laughs> All right. It's the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League report for Saudi Mainline Chrysler, the king of trucks. We'll be right back. The all-new Sports Cage will continue after this at sportscage.com.